So Silicon Valley, people there trying to live forever. The uber rich, not giving a fuck about much but themselves, the state of where we're going. Well, at least that's what people make you think. Who the fuck really knows, right? But there they are. Trying to find the holy grail, the fountain of youth. Immortality. Pushing scientists to build technology that's going to fucking revamp us. Take care of us and slow down our aging indefinitely. People are worried. What's life going to be? Without death, what are we going to value? Let's fucking find out. Because we don't know now, do we? We know a lot of fucking people are scared of not doing enough in their life. A lot of fucking people are scared of, like, getting old and not having done enough while they were still young and prime. A lot of fucking people... A lot of people are fucking scared. A lot of people are fucking scared. Because it's feels so hard. To put aside the time to go and do things. That'll make life more interesting for you. Because they gotta make a choice. They gotta live with that choice. I fucking, I hate this. This fucking keeps me up at night. I'm so talented. I got so much potential. But I gotta make a fucking choice. And everything I start to do, I grasp it really easily in my mind. I could tell what it's gonna fucking look like. If I did it continuously for 15 years and became a master at it, then I go, oh, fuck, what about all the other things that I want to do? Like sticking a family in there. Yeah, my health. Oh, if I do comedy for 15 years and I can't become a fucking world-class dancer. Oh, i got to choose because I'm going to do one till the end. And I don't, look, someone's going to fucking tell me, it's just an illusion, choose one, just... Put your mind around uh, some some fucking two bit, two fucking cent, fucking shit meme, some platitude and old fucking saying, and they're gonna they're gonna act like they're fucking helping me, no. But make me live for six hundred years, and maybe that'll help me not worry about what I gotta dedicate time to, before I die. Yeah, because it's too late. Let's face it. Where are we? It's too fucking late. We're here. 2019, everyone's addicted to their cell phone and seeing what other people are doing. Nothing is hidden from us. Our brains are overloaded. We don't know what to dream for. Change every fucking day depending on what's getting more likes and what shows up on our fucking YouTube feed the most. Right? Depends on what you can afford. Who's cl- who's giving free classes for shit? That's what we do now, right? We want to take classes and things. We want to learn things. We want to stay healthy. Well, let's fucking let do science stay healthy for us. And we all don't want to fucking be teachers. That's that's another thing. We want to be fucking good at what we do, but we don't have to fucking. We don't want to have to fucking teach it. So you know what? Silicon Valley is also pushing AI. Let's fucking hope they do. Everyone's worried about fucking AI. Everyone's fucking worried about fucking AI. I'll stop swearing too much when I know how to fucking do this bit without swearing too much. Everyone's scared. What do the machines do? What do they want from us? What if they wipe out humanity? What if they see us as pathetic, parasitic viruses to the planet? People still find bears cute. And tigers cute. And sharks. Interesting. People find savage beasts. Worth preserving. If AI is anything like us, why would they want to fucking wipe us out? They're going to feel so much superior to us. If there's anything they find interesting us, it's probably they're going to want to mimic the things that they could do better if they took it upon themselves to do it. Then we're playing 
human. We're going to be the thing that teaches them what it's like to be organic life. Might be a hobby to them. They won't want it. Why would they destroy us? You know, or maybe, maybe, maybe they won't like all that shit, but maybe they'll want us as pets. And let's hope they fucking do. I'll tell you why. Because what do people a lot of time on their hands do with their fucking pets? They train those fucking pets and then they have dog shows and shit. They open up SeaWorld. They make eagles mascots for football teams. Let's hope they have a bit more compassion, but then maybe they can be the teachers for all the shit we want to be good at. So none of us will have to fucking teach each other. We can all just have a machine, train us so we're good at it, and hopefully it'll be within the machine's intention to want to do that too. Robot yoga instructors. Do you really want to be a yoga instructor? Don't you just want to fucking do yoga? And then you found a way to get paid for it? Because you can't make a living off of doing yoga? Or because you like a bit of power over class? Because you, you're you better at something than them? Fuck you, stop being a coward. Go and do a contest against other yoga instructors. Karate, mixed martial arts, surfing, I don't know, skydiving. Aerial ballet, you know, in those tubes. Those skydiving tubes that blow you up and people fucking do ballet and that shit upside down. All this cool stuff, parkour. Well, the machines just train us. That'd be utopia. Let them fucking take over. We're done. We can be babysat. Everyone's like, why would they waste their time? Babysitting. Because it doesn't feel like them to be us. They don't fucking need to sleep. They just need another fuel cell and replacement parts. It feels good for us us to do things. That's all that's going to fucking make sense to the machine, to the AI. That's all. I don't know why everyone's so fucking scared. Just do it right. Don't fuck it up. That's that's the scary part. It's that someone, everyone's thinking the wrong way. That's probably going to be what fucks it up. We're all worried, needing like some contingency that these things don't want to fucking destroy us. Don't make them weapons. How about that? Don't program them. Well, maybe we got to clean our own act up. Let's stop being a fucking. Let's stop being fucking pieces of shit, and then. We won't be able to teach the AI how to be pieces of shit. I don't know. That's. I mean, either they're gonna build their own spaceships, blast off, and live somewhere else because we bore them. Or the, or the, 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 or the, they'll find some kind of beauty in us. Same way we find beauty in flowers. Or all kinds of shit. Uh, I'm not scared. I can't wait. I'm slightly autistic. Uh, it's really hard for me to practice not saying what I mean and meaning what I say, but that's how most humans seem to function. I think I, I feel like in my mind I relate more to the machines already before they've taken over. I'm just a product of who I am. So are the fucking machines. I'm just a product of what made me. Yeah. Can't wait for Ma and Pa, Terminator, to come and take my burdens off my back. Fucking humans. Fucking humans.